chapter five, we're going to learn about gases. It's one of my favorite chapters. Do you have boys or what? <laughs> because I have boys. There's a lot of gas at my house. Then there was that time when they filled the house with gas. But Every day you move about 8,500 liters of air in and out of your lungs. That's a lot. And we don't even think about it, right? The reason that we can breathe, the reason we can move the air in and out is because our bodies are able to create a <coughs> pressure difference. You inhale, your diaphragm goes down, expands your lungs, that causes a decrease in pressure, and air flows in. Then your diaphragm comes up, squeezes your lungs, pushes the air out. And so your lungs are like this bellows, in and out, in and out. What is pressure in terms of gases? Um, pressure is a force divided by the area. So a force per unit area. Here we have an illustration of gas molecules. And they're zinging around, and they're going to bump into the surface. When a gas molecule hits, it's going to exert a force on a particular area. And so the force divided by the area is the pressure. So gases exert pressure on their surroundings. How much pressure they exert depends on several different things. The number of gas particles in a particular volume. If you have a lot more, you know, let's say you have a one liter container and you have twice as much gas in one contain in this container or half as much, it's going to exert a different pressure because as those molecules collide with the walls, the, the numbers of them are going to be important. That, that didn't come out well at all. Um, the volume of the container is important and the average speed of the gas particles. When we talk about kinetic molecular theory, we'll, look, we'll revisit that. Okay, so I already talked about that. <clears throat> 